Leon, first of all, how does it feel to be here? There was a lot of heat at that press conference in London. Has everything settled down now that uh, you and Darren are standing so close together? Is it all good today? Yeah, it's all good today. Um, I'm focused 100% on Gunnar now. So the press conference is a bit of banter. Um, Gunnar wasn't there, so I thought, let's go back and forth with him. And, but now I'm 100% focused on the task at hand. And, I got a very tough fight ahead of me and good in Nelson, you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to Saturday night. I gotta ask you how it feels because from that press conference we all thought it was pretty much set in stone that he, the winner of Leon and Gunnar would fight the winner of Till and Masvidal. That was what was floated at that press conference. Now Ben Askren has showed up. Um, what do you think of his involvement and do you feel he has a right to take on one of those guys, the winner of Saturday night's main event? Not really. I don't understand why he's there. Um, he got like a, a weird dodgy win over Robbie Lawler the other day and now he's, he's flying over here with his curly hair to come talk shit. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's, what's happening. Um, I feel the winner of the main event is 100% sure of my fight in the summertime. And after being gone in Nelson, I will push for that fight. And I, I think it should rematch Robbie Lawler first before you even consider fighting anyone else. So that's my... Do you realise how important now it is to sort of put yourself in that shot window? Um, obviously, you know, you got engaged with Darren. You've been a bit more vocal, I think, in the last couple of fights. Yeah, um, I don't feel winning, winning is enough no more in the USA. As back in the day, you could win a fight and then you get to you want to get to. You know what I mean? There's not many men in the world to division that's on a six-fight win streak. And to be on a six-fight win streak and to, I'm still fighting Gunnar Nelson. Not, he's a big name, but I feel I deserve some higher ranked. And, but I'll go out there and I'll prove my case again once more. And I would love to get my rematch against Usman. Um, the now champion, he was the last person to beat me and now 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 is the champion. It'd be good to get that very much end of the year. Does it does the Darren Till fight make the most sense, even if Jorge wins? It's England versus England. Do you think it just sort of you're talking no? Not no, if he loses, no. I mean I think if he loses I'm not interested one bit. Um so if he wins then yeah. If not then no. So the England versus England thing doesn't really sort of excite you because he was talking shit about Birmingham, he's from Liverpool, a place that's easy to talk shit about. So I was wondering if that thing... Liverpool the biggest shit there is. It is. Not really. If it loses, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not interested one bit, you know what I mean? Um, I just want to win with the main event. That that will put me towards the title shot. So whoever it is, if, it is, if it's him or Mastodon. Are you happy with the UFC then, the way they've promoted you? You just said there you want a higher ranked opponent, you beat Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Were you expecting a main event? After that, uh, it was in talks that I was meant to be the main event for this fight, and well, they're doing their thing, and I'm just focused on me and just keep keep winning these fights, keep beating these guys, and I don't think they can deny me for, for much longer after being good now. Think they are denying you? I feel so. I, feel, I, I like like I said, winning it enough. You have to talk, you have to talk shit, and you have to go on social media, and I think that's what it is now. You can win as much fight as you want; they won't push you. You know what I mean? So. I think I'm proving that case as well, so I feel I need to talk more shit and go on social media probably. i got to ask you about uh, a clip I saw just in the lead-up, I think it was from the UFC's uh, social page. They, th there was a clip of you talking about you know, how MMA had kind of um, prevented you from going down the kind of road of, of gang lifestyle. Like, is that a very, was that a big reality for you in your teenage years and do you feel like the sport has taken you away from that? Yeah, 100%. Growing up in, like, where I grew up in, in Birmingham, um, it was a massive gang culture is like two gangs like one called Burger Bar, one called Johnson's. There's like the biggest gangs in Birmingham, um, back then when I was growing up and it, it was easy for me to all my friends was in the gang. Um, I was hanging around, I was getting into trouble and I got a little brother as well, Fabian it also fights. He was following my footsteps and he was getting into trouble as well and the, so one day my mum brought me up to the gym in Erlington, started build, building a gym in my area and um if she brought me there just to keep me from hanging around with my friends basically. And, um, <laughs> so I went to the gym um, and I just, I just stuck to it. I stuck to it. My brother followed me and then now, now here we are. We're both doing something positive and it's, it's good to see and it feels good. Like, I mean, do, do you see the traps of what, what could have been when you see that group of friends? Maybe some of these guys that were involved in the gang, like, is it, are you thankful for what's yeah. happened with your life? Very, very, very thankful and um, most of them now, some, some, are, some of them growing up with my best friends and because I've chosen this life, I couldn't hang around so much, so I kind of grew apart. But some of them in prison, some of them stabbings and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it's, it is what it is. And we're now here and I'm living positive and I'm doing very well for my family and myself. And it's good to see. You mentioned the guys, um, your brother, obviously, phenomenal talent. If you know Tom Breeze, the guys that are coming out of that area of Birmingham. It's really exciting times, I feel, for, for, for that region and those guys that are coming up together. 
Ja, derfor var jeg fed. I think in the UK everyone got like the, like the the little time. I think back in the day it was like Nottingham, which is like Dan Hardy and um, the old them lot, and then Rough House, like that's Rough House it, and then London at the time, London shoot and people like that. And now I think it's our time now. Um, like I said, I got good good fights from there. Tom Breeze, my brother Yannick. There's loads of people that get good working and it's a good it's a good area to be now. Could you give uh, Tom some lessons in talking trash because uh, he doesn't <laughs> seem to like to do it an awful lot of that. Was it here today? No, no, of course not. <laughs> Tom just Tom just does 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 his thing and he, he, <laughs> <laughs> we we'll laugh about it all the time in the gym. He just does his own things, like literally just in his own world. But it's funny. He's he's, he's such a good fighter as well. Speaking but, of fighters from Birmingham, what about the guy who attacked Jack Grealish on the pitch? Are you a Birmingham City fan? Please don't leave me here now. I don't really watch football, but oh, man, but, 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 but it was funny. It, it was weird because I, I don't know what he planned to get out of running. He didn't even land a punch clean. It's like a weird <laughs> punch and. Now, I think like 14 weeks in prison or something stupid. So, then everyone posted the address in, online and uh, it was weird. <laughs> yeah. the main event. Um, it's a great fight, a great matchup as well. Who have you got? Who are you favouring in that in that fight? Um, I think it depends how 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 both men fight. I think if Masada comes in and try to be emotional or let's, let's have us tear up, I probably favour Darren Till over it, um, being the bigger man. And, but... If I had to put money on it, I'd probably go edge Darren Till in the in the win. But Masvidal is good. It was, depends how it comes out and fight. If he uses his techniques, I think he beats him. He beats Darren Till if he's, he's wrestling and striking. Also, the fight that just happened for the title, Osman against Woodley. Were you surprised that Osman came in the way he did, or was that sort of an expectation, seeing as though you've been in front of him before? I thought no. I picked Woodley to win the fight. To be fair, um, I thought Woodley was going to get the finish, but. For some reason, it didn't show up at all. It looked like, like it just didn't want to be there. Um, but to see it wasn't win the fight, win the title was good for me because it shows me that I can, I got like one, one or two more fights and I can fight, get a rematch against Usman. So to go out there and get that win back and get my revenge and, and to win the title, that's like two, two fucking the most best thing for me. I remember before you fought Peter Sabata, there was all this talk of how, how was Leon going to get on on the ground against this guy, and again that's coming up with Gunnar like. Do you think a win here will finally put that to bed? That uh, you know about your ground game, the questions. I hope so. I hope so. I think they're, they're all judging it from the probably Usman probably, but I hope so. I'm like, I feel I've improved so much in my ground and my wrestling. I think I've improved way more in my, in my grappling and my striking. Cause I'm focused so much on it. You know what I mean? So it'd be good. But what if I go out there and sub him out? You know what I mean? Just that, just that good that would be. You know what I mean? So I'm looking. For You're not ruling that out. Nah, I mean, like, I, I love to, like I said, that's his last fight when he fought um, the Brazilian, Brazilian cowboy kid. Um, he was losing when the guy took him down. He weren't, weren't doing much off his back. It's only when he, when he got on top um, and landed his elbow and the guy panicked and didn't get his back up because he saw the blood. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, when he's, when, he, when he's on top, when you're on top of him, he's not as good than when, he, when you're all the other way around. You know what I mean? So... Uh, we will see how the fight plans out. You want to keep this standing, right? Uh, no. I want, I want to mix it up. I want to mix it up. I want to let him see just how good I am. You know what I mean? Um, I want to go out and just dominate wherever the fight goes on the ground or standing. So. I just want to go back to that. Do, do you feel as though you, you said you want to show and prove to him? Do you feel as though like, is there a chip on your shoulder with you know guys you're fighting and obviously a little bit with the UFC as well? Do you, do you feel as though you always have something to prove to everyone? Um, I think just more for myself, just answering questions and. It helps the next fight. So if, if I go out there now and I saw good announcing now, that will answer so much questions to like every, all my other opponents. Like what what do we do now to beat him? You know what I mean? So that's all it is. It's more for myself, really. 